FS Blue powered by Free Switch. Welcome to FS Blue. My name is Fred Mutesa and I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with FS Blue. The first thing would be visit freeswitch.com slash FS Blue and you register an account. In order to do that, you have to click on more info and then you click on clients and then register an account. That will present you with a form where you can fill all the relevant information. Make sure that the information is accurate because this is the account you're going to be using to manage all your instances. You will also be asked to verify your email address. So once you register with all this info, you will receive an email. This email will have a link on, on to which you will click and verify the email address. So after we have created our account, go under services, new service, order new service, and then you will see the options where you can purchase any of the products that you need. Of course, you can see the properties of a particular instance, the resources that a particular instance has, and also the price on your right. After you choose what you want, you click order and then you'll be presented with the product and then the price. If you have received any promotional offers, be sure to apply your promo code here upon checkout. In this case, I'm going to be using our administrative code for demonstrative purposes to show you how you can actually purchase this product. You click on checkout and then you fill in the relevant information regarding what method you're going to use to pay and then you proceed to complete the order. I'll use bank transfer and then I complete the order. Once the order is placed, we shall wait for confirmation and then you receive an email regarding your order and then that will entail, will have details of what you've ordered and then the service ID and it will tell you if the instant has been created automatically and whether it has been created successfully. Of course, it takes a few minutes for your instance to be created, but you can actually see under your products and services that you have ordered and it's active, but Below there, you can see it is telling you that VM creation is in progress. Please try again later. So you have to give it like 10 minutes and your instance will be created. And once it's created, you will have it appear in your account. And under there, you can actually have additional tools or you can log into the console. Let's open up the email and see our login details. Of course, once it's created, you receive an email confirming your instance and your login details. You love the IP, the username that is root, and then the password. Since we are using the username root, we have to use the no VNC console found under the control panel section in your management account. Click on advance to accept to bypass the certificate complaint and then get the login console and enter the provided login details. The first time you log into your instance, if it's a Fusion PBX, you'll be presented by the message of the day, which entails your graphical user interface login details. So in this case, it will be admin and the password that has been displayed. So once you go to the web and type in that IP, you'll be presented with login request, where you type in your username, which is usually admin, and then the password that was presented in your message of the day when you logged in at the console. So I'm logged in. So from here, you can actually go on and create and manage your Fusion PBX instance. You can go on and create call senders, queues, and extensions, add different users. You can add domains. You can manage this Fusion PBX instance like the one you would have installed on your own laptop. So logging in again will show us that we have one service and that's the service we've currently paid for and it can be managed. It's possible to purchase more products and services and it's possible to also either register your own domain and create a records that point to your IP. Thank you very much.